You coming? Trixie, come on. Welcome. Do I look like I've had a night? <laughs> Nobody sleeps in this freaking house. Everybody's hungry. Everybody needs breakfast. Everybody's sleepy. You <laughs> do. I don't feel like I've slept in a week. Here's the thing that's so funny about kids. If you disturb them while they're sleeping, you know what I mean? They're mad. They're really upset but they can bombard you in the morning and just start immediately asking for breakfast. Just immediately like, mom, I'm hungry. Mom, I want this. Mom, 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 mom. Why are you not asking your dad? <laughs> Why is dad not getting this type of attention? He makes you breakfast. Why can't you ask him for breakfast at six in the morning on a Saturday? <laughs> I'm done complaining because today's gonna be a great day. You say hello to the camera. Say hi. You're gonna be shy. Do you want this? Have her crazy. Okay, I'll help. Gotta get my husband a shirt. So I can show everybody that you're making me breakfast. Well, I don't know because the fan's going from where you took your mask and smelled <laughs> the whole house. Tell me why I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom for three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> I was in the bathroom for three yeah. minutes. And this slides under the door. <laughs> There's your burnt eggs that you enjoy so much. I do. I actually live, laugh, love a hard Friday. Comment down below if your husband is a pain in the butt. Today is one of those days uh, after the week we've had. Eggs. 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 This week was so busy and Everett's been on a sleep strike as his molars erupt. So we're very, very sleepy and tired and getting out of bed this morning was actually painful. Like I wanted to cry. Getting out of my helix mattress every Getting day out of my... <laughs> oh, honey. But... Ah, 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 ah. No, no. He's such... A stinker. Anyway, we're gonna hangs this weekend. Chill vibes. Oma went home today. Ella had her evaluations this week. We had doctor's appointments. Everything seemed to have gone as well as it could. And we can actually relax. Also, I have something so exciting to tell you guys in a little bit that you're gonna absolutely freak out because last night, I, I think you were asleep. I was so yeah. awake and I was like, well, guess where I'm going on Wednesday? Y'all are gonna freak out. I know. But first, let's go check on Elle. I also left my Stanley upstairs last night and I am needing some ice water. Thanks for cooking, honey. Love you so much. Also, what did you do? All right, toddlers are next level. I remember when going up these stairs used to like actually. Good morning. Are you hanging out in Mama's bed? There's a roach. Okay. Thank you. He has to make sure I did it right. A ba ba ba. This is my favorite shaving cream literally ever and it lasts forever the cremo concentrated shave cream in the coconut mango scent for my pcos girlies if you have to shave your face or if you just want to shave your legs this is so good and it's cheap and just like that i have a bra a bra i have a bra on and the bathroom is relatively cleaned up it's a get the house in affairs in order day and swim one of my favorite breakfasts um, is any kind of bagel sandwich. So I just use these bagel thins and they work out just fine. I'll show you. These are only 110 calories. Look at us using our groceries all week. I know. Um, well, besides last night. <laughs> yeah, I had a crunch wrap supreme for dinner <laughs> and I felt it this morning. Mm -hmm. But crunch wrap's not bad. It's what, 500 calories? It's like, think? yeah, it's 520 calories for the meal. Mm -hmm. And it was worth every bit. It's not the best thing, but 
I have uncured honey ham, thinly sliced. I like thinly sliced everything. I yeah. like everything dry and thinly sliced. I'm sure Lynn right now is just rolling her eyes. She's like, you're the pickiest eater. Mm -hmm. I'm not, kind of. And then um, one piece of this super thin, um, what is this? Extra thin provolone. Uh, two slices is 90 calories, if you count calories. I don't usually count calories, but I always kind of have an idea in my brain of how much something is. So I try and like have breakfast, lunch, and dinner be Ooh. like five to 800 calories and per meal. And that's good if you're trying to get a calorie deficit too. Always, I'm, that's the only way to lose weight is a calorie deficit, really. I mean, you yeah. have to have more calories going out than coming in. That is the first meal of the day. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. 10.45 actually. It's 10.45. Is it really? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to go swimming. First meal of the day. This isn't a what I eat in a day, but it's this is what I'm eating, so. So I just came upstairs, it's sheet washing day, and you all already know how I feel about Helix and our Helix mattresses. I wanna say thank you to Helix for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with them for over three years. I absolutely love the brand and the product. If you don't know what Helix is, it's a mattress company and they deliver straight to your door. You go online, you take the sleep quiz, and it will match you with the mattress that is best suited for your needs. The thing that I absolutely love the most about Helix is that they make mattresses for plus size people. So when I took our sleep quiz, we were matched with the Helix Plus mattress. That is the mattress that we have in my master bedroom. It's the mattress I've been sleeping on for over three years. And if you've heard me talk about it, you already know how much it's completely changed my life. That's why when I was talking about getting out of bed this morning being painful, it's because it was. it's just so incredibly good. It takes all of the pressure off of my joints. I don't have back pain or shoulder pain like I used to. When you lay in bed at night, you feel like you're floating. Another really great thing about Helix is that you can sleep on it for 100 nights and if you don't love it, you can send it back. That is a 100 night sleep trial. So you can really get a feel for it and see if it's the mattress for you. Make sure you do take that sleep quiz though because they will match you with a mattress that you are gonna be more comfortable on. It's a really in-depth quiz. It'll ask you your sleep preferences and it will make sure that you get the mattress that is gonna be good for you. That is a really important step. They also have financing options, which is great, and you can work out payment plan. I know a mattress is a really large purchase and I know it can feel overwhelming to think about purchasing something as large as a mattress, but it's so easy. It comes in a box, it's delivered to your door you take it upstairs open it up it inflates it almost seems too good to be true but it's not it's so crazy how well made these beds are we absolutely love it we've had this bed for six months and just look how beautiful it still is it's held up amazing something really cool that helix is doing for my followers this month the month of april until the 30th that this ends you can get 25 percent off of your helix mattress plus two free pillows when you go to helixsleep.com lauren brazy make sure you take that sleep quiz so that you can figure out what mattress will be good for you and before i forget there is also a 10-year warranty on your mattress so if something goes wrong you can get a new mattress get it replaced I think that's a really good security blanket to have because 10 years is a long time. So remember, this month of April only until the 30th, you can get 25% off your Helix mattress order. And if you're watching this after the month of April, you can always get 20% off your order by going to helixsleep.com slash Lauren Brazy and you get two free pillows with that order as well. Oh, so good. Now I need to go ask Ella if she wants to go swimming. I feel like she's she's like in the mood today where she literally just wants to stay in bed. Um, she's had a busy couple of weeks between being sick, her evaluation, which went amazing, phenomenal. We're so proud of her. And then family visits, we did family pictures. That's like herding cats, it was a whole thing. Um, I'm fingers crossed we got a decent picture. I'm hopeful, I'm super hopeful, but I'm not getting my hopes up. So I think Ev and I are just gonna go swim at my mom's house today. Oh, I have to tell you the exciting news. This Wednesday, so I'm friends with Victoria Caputo. If you know who she is, she's Teresa Caputo's daughter. We've been friends for a few months and we talk about being a mom, anxiety, all things. Anyway, we were chatting last night. I'm gonna drive, hands free. So I was talking to Victoria last night and she was, she knows I live in Florida and she's like, how far away from Daytona are you? And we're like two exits, we're a hop and a skip, not even. Like Daytona is my old stomping grounds. If you're crooked, sorry, I can't fix you because I'm driving. But she got my mom and I two VIP tickets for Wednesday's show in Daytona to meet her mom. So I get to meet Teresa Caputo 
Victoria, AKA Victoria's mom on Wednesday. And I'm so excited. So thank you so much, Vic. I love you so much. I was like, you really don't have to do that. She's like, no, I totally want to like, please let me do it. So I get to meet Teresa Caputo. And if you don't know who Teresa Caputo is, it's Teresa freaking Caputo. And my mom is considered an orphan. Um, her brother died a year ago and I don't know, I'm not expecting anything out of it. Like her being able to talk to anybody that we've lost in love. But you guys know if you've been around for a while, we've lost a lot of people in the last five years. So I hope for my mom's sake, maybe, you know, something will come of it for her, like some closure or something. So I'm really excited about that. I really am. But in the meantime, look how beautiful it is outside. Ella, you are missing out. We are going to take advantage and swim, mostly because he needs to get some energy out and he was just, he is not in the mood. So to Graham's house we go, son. And when I get to the stop sign, I'm going to stop this. See you at mom's house. We're fresh out of the pool and we can never leave without a piece of Opa toast. This is the last of the homemade bread my dad makes and I'm gonna put some butter on it. Remind me to show you guys when I get home, I'll show you his cup. Um, the juice I make for him every day to have, since he is picky, he's getting better, but he's still a toddler. Um, so he doesn't get everything he should. So I make this drink for him every day and it has tons of good stuff in it and he drinks it after the pool or like after our big outing because he doesn't love the taste of it. Sorry, he doesn't love the taste of it. But if he's thirsty and hungry from like something active, he'll suck it right down. That's my pro tip and I put ice in it. He's drinking it right now. Yeah, I made you toast. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. This is it. Mm -hmm. Yummy. You want both pieces? There you go. We're home, it's raining. Okay, focus. I'm gonna say okay 500 times. This is what is in Ev's cup. Six leafy greens, 14 wholesome fruits, and 11 nutritious veggies. It doesn't taste the best, but he will drink it, and it's better than nothing. Look at us, back in the bathroom. This is my new version of my window. So here's what I wanted to tell you guys. I was talking to my now friend Lisa, who is a subscriber, and she's watched me for years. I just wrote Ella. And she was giving me talking points because in a live stream I did a few weeks ago, I was like, I just feel so boring. I don't know what to talk about. And she was like, first of all, stop saying you're boring. And she's lost 150 pounds on keto and kept it off. And we were talking about how um, people now treat me different. And I didn't realize this until a few weeks ago. Uh, I just, people treat me are nicer to me now that I'm not as fat. Um, I'm still fat and I take up space. Obviously, like I'm a big person. I'm 5'8 and 285 pounds. Like I'm big, but I'm not a hundred pounds, but I, I, how do I say this? It's the little things. My mom is getting like text messages from people, even people I know in my real life or have known me my entire life. It seems as if people are just now starting to pay attention to me um, at stores, in public. People are smiling at me more. Not like they're going out of their way to smile at me like I'm some just like everybody's paying attention to me. It's pub you're in public. I'm talking about those general date like when you're walking inside the gas station and someone's walking out instead of looking away from you or like half smiling, they like smile at you or talk to you. Um, people just are looking me in the eye more when they're talking to me and just generally way nicer to me. And it's, it's kind of disheartening. I know it's a thing, but you don't realize it's a thing until you see like a change. And it's not all the time. I mean, some people in public just don't wanna, are just nicer than other people and some people smile or not. But if you are obese, um, you may not want to notice or you don't think you notice people treat you different, but they do. They absolutely do. And um, like people that, like I said, that have watched up or watched me grow up are like now texting my mom and being like, oh, how proud they are of me or whatever. Or like just being, noticing that I'm beautiful or saying something nice, you would think 
but it's just like they've never paid any attention to me before or have never really said anything nice about me or to me or about me to my mom necessarily and this is the thing that gets your attention it's like the best thing I could ever do in life out of all my accomplishments just losing weight seems to be the best thing I could ever do and it is because I feel better and I'm happier and I'm healthier and it is the best thing I've done for my physical health but it's not like my greatest achievement in life is losing weight and it, it just makes you feel a little hmm, it can make you feel weird I don't know how to explain how I feel let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about or if you have faced this kind of feeling before because it's really hard to put into words and I don't want to seem like I'm being self-absorbed or like people are so much nicer to me now that I'm skinny I'm not skinny I'm still big but people are definitely way nicer to me way nicer to me than they were a year ago in public maybe the world's changed I don't know but it's just interesting it's an interesting observation um, that I have come across and I was talking to John about it a few weeks ago and he was like same thing happened to me like people just are generally nicer to people who aren't morbidly obese isn't that nuts it's so crazy <laughs> like it's the weirdest thing and it's even weirder when people you know like for real are nicer to you because you've lost weight it's just bizarre I just want thought I'd share that because I'm interested to hear because it is it seems to be an experience that uh, Lisa was has had as well and I was wondering if you guys have experienced that in your lifetime it's very interesting it's very very interesting thanks for hanging out with me today I'm trying to get better at this whole vlogging thing so that with that being said we'll see you in a couple days bye